The two most common pellet mill designs are the belt drive system and the gear drive system. The belt drive pellet mill uses belts to connect the motor to the drive shaft of the pellet mill, while the drive shaft of the gear drive pellet mill is connected directly to the motor. There are also some direct drive pellet mills where the motor shaft and drive shaft are one and the same. Gear drive pellet mills are probably the most common in the United States. The pellet die and rolls are responsible for pellet formation within the pellet mill. The two bolts in the center of the picture are used to adjust the distance of the rolls to the inside of the die. As the die rotates, the condition feed is forced into and caught between the rotating die and rolls. The feed is then extruded through the holes to form the pellets. The die hole diameter and thickness determine the final pellet size and characteristics. The holes in the die can be drilled to almost any specification requested by the customer. The first specification is the diameter of the hole which typically ranges from 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch for pellets with a 10 to 64 inch, 11 64 inch, or 12 64 inch being the most common in swine and poultry diets. A die can also be drilled for producing cubes for cattle which may be 5 8 inches or 3 quarters inch holes. The effective thickness is designated as the part of the die where the pellet is formed and held under pressure in order to bind the particles together. The effective thickness in most dies will range from 1 and 1 quarter inches to 2 inches in the swine and poultry operations. Commercial mills may run thicker dies to improve pellet quality, but it also reduces throughput. Dies will also have a one or two step relief to reduce back pressure on the pellet in the die. Rolls and die are the main wear parts in the pelleting system. Therefore, they must be maintained to pellet properly. The primary way feed mills maintain the rolls and die is to grease the rolls, which can be done automatically or manually, and by making sure the distance between the rolls and die is properly set.